Hello, my name is Simon Miller and welcome to another episode of Miller's Musings. I know we are 24 hours late. I like to do these on a Monday, but such is life. Things happened yesterday. I had to go sort them out. Now, it's kind of a good thing, <clears throat> excuse me, that we, uh, actually if you don't know, Miller's Musings, weekly vlog series about mental health, depression, anxiety, stuff we all deal with in life, which is very apt for today because, I mean, I, I, I know a lot of people that are already listening know this, but just in case anyone stumbles across it, I mean, here's a short version. I didn't know what to talk about this week. I was kind of thinking I could do this, I can do that. I mean, it's a never-ending, um, you know, list of things that we can do. But I wanted, I like to think about these things. I don't just like to throw myself in there. And I thought I'll actually this week talk about something that's quite personal to me right now. Now, I never really do that. I have done that in a few episodes, but usually they're more general themes and things like that. But this kind of hit me as I was thinking about what I could do. So I thought, all right, well, I'm putting myself out there anyway. Let's put myself out there. Uh, that touch more. So, in, uh, again, if you don't know, I injured my shoulder wrestling three weeks ago today as I record this. Uh, I still don't know what's going on. Uh, we'll find out on Thursday. That's when I get my scan results. But it doesn't, I mean, it just doesn't work. And it, it's in agony. And I, I wear a sling most of the time, but I don't want to do videos because there's a big bright light here and it makes me too hot. And as long as I rest it, it's fine. Um, but what it is meant is I am very active when I'm healthy. Uh, be it at the gym, wrestling, you know, doing cardio, just getting out of the house, whatever. I've had to restrict myself from doing that. When I say restrict, I mean I've done nothing. Um, I'm, ho I'm hopefully going to start training legs soon. But again, it's like, because it, I don't 100% know what's wrong with it, you don't want to go to the gym and do something silly and make this work. Because my key right now is getting this fixed so I can get back to going to the gym how I like to go to the gym. But it has meant that I can't go to the gym. And obviously, I've had to try and change my diet and do loads of things to try and balance it out. And what I realized was... There's two things I'm worried about. Three things. The most important is that I miss it, right? I love going to the gym. It's part of who I am, and that just sucks. So I get a bit down and a bit sad about that because I miss doing something I love to do, as I think we all all can uh, pre uh, understand. Same with wrestling, right? I hate the fact things were going so well and it got taken away. But there's other things outside of that, and, and, and this is what kind of, the kind of ties into uh, you know social image or how other people perceive you or how you want to be perceived, which we all do. I think we all need to take stock of it here and there, but we all do that naturally as human beings. And I realized, given that you know I make a lot of videos and that's, that's a huge part of my job, I'm actually now worried, I just realized I haven't turned my screen tape off and it will close down after 10 minutes. I realized, yeah, the, the, the two things I'm worried about is A, you know, every day I get up and look in the mirror and at least mentally, I feel like, you know, I'm not in as good shape as I was and that bothers me and, you know, it causes other things that you start to, you start to be, I guess, negative about, for lack of a better term. But then I also started to realize that, that actually bothers me from an outside perspective as well. Because there's no two ways about it. Eventually, you are going to stop dropping muscle mass if you can't lift weights. You know, you can keep your diet up as, as much as you can, but they work in tangent with one another. And I did realize... Uh, when I was doing a video today, in fact, I thought to myself, you know what? It actually does bother me a little bit that a few people may be like, oh, look, you can, you know, you can see. Now, there's a perfectly justifiable reason for it. It's something I should worry about. Uh, I know how I am as a human being. It will very much be water off a duck's back. I may see it or it may get my way and I'll be like, ah, well, you know the situation. We'll sort it out down the line. But I did think that was interesting. And again, this led me to go... It is such a huge part of our day-to-day -day lives, how other people interpret us, how other people see us, and how are the, what the things that people say to us. Because like I say, just the thought of someone saying, oh, Miller, you look like you've lost weight. you got a bit smaller. I was like, I don't want to hear that, man. That's going to wind me up, and it may upset me to a certain degree. And yeah, it, again, it ties into how... Because really, I don't mean this in a bad way, excuse me. Um, I don't mean this in a bad way. We shouldn't let what anybody, if someone says something nice to us, that will affect our self-esteem. And it goes the same the other way as well. But really, we shouldn't let what anybody says to us affect who we are as people, how our day is going, our self-worth, our self-esteem, our happiness, our sadness. Because I'm not saying you shouldn't be horrible to people. Of course not. People are important and friendships and relationships and connections are, are, are essential. But it does. And it does happen. And trying to work on yourself to the extent that you don't allow those things to kind of control too much. I think it's really hard. And I think that is something that we all have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And really, a lot of the time, can be responsible for how you feel in general, right? Because let's take it down to something as simple as a haircut, something I have to worry about now, just shave my head every day. But if you just had your hair cut and someone comes and goes, oh, what do you do to your hair? And kind of relax negatively. Even if when it was done and you paid loads of money for it and you came out of the salon feeling wonderful, that one comment is going to hit you and you either maybe the type of person that will 
uh, counter that in person. Maybe you're the type of person that will not say anything and you'll you know, let it eat away at you. But really, what difference does it make that that person has said anything? You like the haircut. And it kind of comes down to why is their opinion more important than yours? And that's taking it to a bit of an extreme. Because again, if somebody comes at me in the next week, two weeks, three weeks, oh, Miller, you just want to stop lifting weights. It, 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 I have an answer to that. You know, it's not really a, uh, it's not really a criticism. It's just something that would maybe bother me because I'm like, well, this, that, and I guess there's a certain way I like to look at the moment. I can't, I kind of can't look. Oh, so it feels like I can't look that way because again, the whole mentality thing. I'm not training. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But you know, it, it makes no difference. And I guess this does tie into the whole uh, mental health and, and and sort of anxiety and and life stuff because that's what we should all be working towards, especially. When we're in the thick of it, like it's all good to be feeling strong and confident when things are going well, but it's when you get to the other end of the spectrum where you really have to make sure it kicks in and that's when it's hard, right? Because of course it's hard, that's the whole point. The whole point is you're going through something, you're suffering, you're not happy, you're a bit negative, so then all of a sudden trying to pick yourself up because misery loves company and there's nothing wrong being miserable to a point. You've got to get to that level where you draw a line under it. Okay, well, I've, you know, I've, been, I've done this enough now. Now it's time to be positive and look to the future and you know, work out how can I... Uh, you know, make this better for myself because you can't live your life that way. And that you only really can do that and accept that and approach, and approach it when you are in that situation to begin with. So it's a really, really strange, almost catch-22 uh, di- 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 dynamic that you find yourself with. And I do think that it's really hard. And I think even the most confident people in the world can be knocked because probably, because you probably, be, again, if there's something that's already in your mind, it probably already knocked you a little bit, and then you're unstable, and you, uh, you know, you're vulnerable, and then it all comes toppling down. We've all been there. We've all seen it. So I just thought, okay, well, let's talk about it. If I start talking about it, maybe that will then, you know, comprehend or, or, or kind of, uh, d- you know, um, spark something in somebody watching, and they can be like, well, it's actually all right because, as I always say, we're all going through this stuff together because we're all human beings. When you take a step back and think about it on a grand picture, why does? I mean, this in a good way, but why does anything matter? Like. We're all individuals on a rock flying through space. <laughs> like, it's all so crazy, it almost makes it easier to enjoy things day to day when you think about it in those terms. Because, you know, like the haircut and the gym, they're the two things I've used in examples. Of course, you want to have a nice haircut. You want to look good. It makes you feel good. Of course, I want to go to the gym for the same reasons. But if we can't for, you know, whatever the, 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 the position we find ourselves in our day to day, then you might as well just accept it. Right, you might as well just accept it because tomorrow is going to be completely different to today, and today is completely different from yesterday. And in ten years' time, you're not even going to be thinking about this. Uh, and, and, and ultimately, it doesn't matter anyway because we're all we're all headed in one direction. So I just thought it was a fascinating thing, and the fact that it can control mood and happiness so much. Yeah, and the fact that I was I I wouldn't call it a worry, but I was certainly apprehensive about it. That thought definitely entered my mind, and I was like, oh, can you believe it? I'm actually. Yeah, like I said, just a little bit mm, apprehensive is a much better word than than sort of anxious or worried. But yeah, definitely just apprehensive that I, I could hear. Maybe you're watching it now. You may watch it now. Go, oh, yeah, I can see that, you know, he's shrunk a little bit. Because of course I have. I haven't gone to the gym in three weeks and eventually your body will start breaking down. So my point basically this week is that there is no wrong or right answer to this. It is more about, again, looking inward and being introvert, a little bit introverted and answering these questions for yourself and and reminding and reminding yourself that really the only person's opinion that matters with these situations not it doesn't it's not going to be all and end all is what you think so if you like your haircut just enjoy your haircut don't worry about what anybody else says if you can't go to the gym well that's just another part of life make sure you fill your time doing other things like i got a load of videos planned i went out there and got a load of other work uh, which is difficult obviously because of my arm but you know uh, do other things and then you know you'll all get back to it none of us stay down forever even though when you're in those down moments it doesn't ever feel like you're going to get back out of it but you always do and then when you're in a better place yeah maybe you'll enjoy your hair a bit more and you'll be back in the gym and you know doing all the things that you love to do and it can be even simpler than that but don't at the same time don't ever feel bad or beat yourself up if you do let something upset you, it's probably better to actually process that feeling and try and tap into why it upset you because it's probably something that you know deep down and doesn't actually tie into the thing that somebody said. Like my gym thing maybe because, again, I like to, I, I feel like I have a certain image to keep up maybe because I do make videos and I don't want that to go away. You know, maybe that means something to me even though you could argue that it doesn't matter. Well, it, ma- it matters to me and I think that's okay because we're all, again, we're all we're all different and we all have our ways and means that we like to, you know, put ourselves out there, I guess. 
So yes, I'll probably call this something like why do we let other people's feelings affect us or something like that. I think that's the theme of today. Uh, but I think it's okay as well. We certainly should be aware of it, like I, like I mentioned, and we certainly should try and stop it from, from dragging us down. But I still think that it's okay. I still think it's okay that we feel that way because, again, we are just human beings. And maybe that's another thing to take away from this as well. Like We all feel immortal and we all feel like we can take on the world. And you can and you should feel like that, but also... Take a step back every now and then and just survey the situation and make sure that you know, you're, doing, you're doing all right. I think that's important. Uh, I am growing a beard as well. It's probably going to go. I don't really like it. There you go. There's another thing. I don't really like my beard. It's too wispy. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go. Look how grey I get as well. That's crazy. Everyone goes, oh, I really must be so old. I went grey at 16, man. Like my, Me and hair, terrible relationship. Anyway, thank you very much for, uh, for watching Miller's Music. There's a playlist. I'll put it in the description below. Probably forget and then put it in later. Uh, please do share it around as well to people you think that would help. Uh, this is all done for personal reasons and nothing else. But if you like, share, subscribe, comment, do all the, all the other nonsense as well. And I will see you in about a week's time.